بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing let's try to understand the uh, terminology like what is feasible distance and what is reporting distance now the difference is the feasible distance is nothing but the the total metric the actual metric to reach that particular destination what is the best route like in this example if we take this example uh, in this example let's say from a to reach e there are multiple routes so i'm not calculating all the routes so assume there are multiple routes to reach from a to e and assume the these are the individual uh, metric values what you see on that interface just for understanding i'm using simple values here and what is the feasible distance so from my router to reach this particular destination what is the overall metric that metric is considered as feasible distance so in my example what is the feasible distance here the feasible distance is 90 that is your feasible distance so 10 plus 30 40 40 60 60 plus 30 90 and there is something called reporting distance now reporting distance is called is nothing but the metric from the neighbor now the, who is advertising the cost now how i'm going to come to know about this network let's say this is 10.5.5 network so who will advertise this information to me my neighbor so the neighbor is advertising information to you or reporting to you saying that if you want to go to 10.5.5 network you can go from my router you can go from from b and from my router the overall cost is going to be 80 like 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 30 80 so this is advertising to me so which means now the reporting distance the reporting distance will be 80 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to consider from here what is the overall overall means you need to add this one as well so i'm going to add this 10 so total becomes 90 just like if you take a simple example to understand let's say this is my home and i want to reach some some place let's say some office i want to visit a specific office maybe i'm new now i'm going to ask my neighbor how i can go and the neighbor says okay or maybe my friend who stays in some other place and this guy says okay if you want to go to this particular place you can go from my home means via via my home and the distance is let's say five kilometers and he's going to advertise to you that is your reporting distance that is five kilometers so i need to count the overall the overall if i'm using this route then i have to count this overall maybe this is just two kilometer distance so the overall is going to be my feasible distance so when the ehrp uh, calculates so there are two different uh, metric values will be used here and based on that there are a few conditions so the total distance or total distance of the best route again best route is called feasible distance and the neighbor who is reporting and what is the metric used by that particular neighbor or from the neighbor to that particular destination it is called reporting distance like if you want to understand a little bit more better here you can use this topology from the router a to f there are three possible routes you can go from abf or acf or adef now assume these are the individual metrics if you go from AC, abf now what is the overall distance the overall distance is going to be 2000 and from neighbor to the destination neighbor to the destination is how much 1000 because the neighbor says okay uh, to reach this particular destination what is my best route maybe there are multiple routes like this but he will exchange only the best one so my best is 1000 that's what the reporting distance and the overall will be will be 2000 likewise if you calculate for the remaining as well so the overall is 3000 here and the overall is 7000 here so 3000 and 7000 and the neighbor whatever the neighbor is advertising that will be that will become the reporting distance here so now in this example again the feasible distance as i said it is the metric of the best route like in this case if you consider these are the individual cost values and the least is the best so that will be considered as the best route and the total overall metric or the cost we call as feasible distance 
and these values we call them as uh, relative distance relative, relative distance sorry reporting distance reported distance probably rd these are the individual values so these values play a major role in deciding the best routes and also the loop free topology generally there are conditions like the same thing here if you see the feasible distance the first one it is a metric to the best route to the destination and this will be present in the routing table again so technically the best route we call as successor route and the overall distance or the cost value we call it as feasible distance and it is calculated based on the metric calculation already we discussed that in the previous sections so in this example if you take this example from the router one to reach this particular subnet the overall cost will be 256 plus 256 plus 2816 so this is your successor route and what is the feasible distance here the feasible distance will be 256 plus 256 plus 2816 if you take the same example here from this route it is 2000 and this is 3000 and this is 7000 which is the best 2000 is the best so the 2000 is your uh, feasible distance here so this is your feasible distance as per the second topology and similar way the reporting distance reporting distance is nothing but the other option here like if you consider this example here uh, what is report distance? the best metric of the neighbor like i said what neighbor is advertising to you so the neighbor says i know multiple routes but this is something what i'm using my best route okay so the best information from the neighbor and it is actually the metric used by the neighbor to reach that particular subnet so the next thing is like reporting distance now reporting distance is as i discussed the neighbor whatever is advertising to the particular router the metric or the cost that is your reporting distance and it's a it's a metric which is calculated by the neighbor router or from the neighbor router to the specific destination like in this example if you if you just take here the router 3 and the router 4 now the router 4 to reach this particular 10.4.4. subnet on the router 4 so the reporting distance the router 4 is going to advise to its neighbors here the reporting distance to reach this subnet is 2816 and likewise when the router 3 is going to address to its neighbors the reporting distance is how much 256 plus 2816 so it's going to be 3072 so every every router is going to address so similar way if you take a simple example here in my topology here from the router b when it is advertising to reach this f network there are multiple routes so it can go from this side 1000 or if it goes from this side or this side there will be a longer path so this is your best route so it's going to advertise to the neighbor saying that to reach this particular f my best route is 1000 that is via this route okay so remember every neighbor will calculate their own paths like in this case as i said the b will calculate this is 1000 and then this is uh, probably more than that of course one one two five three five six seven eight eight thousand so it's going to send its own information whatever is advertising that is your reporting distance okay so this reporting distance and the feasible distance is something you need to understand especially in the next topics where we get into understanding some feasibility conditions So you can verify these parameters generally in the topology table. So if you go and verify with show IP EHRP topology, you will see most of these routes. You will see these routes. And whatever the value, you will see this to reach this particular subnet, like based on the same topology. So the subnet is 10.4.4.0. This, this is output based on the router one, based on the previous topology. And to reach this, what is the feasible distance so feasible distance you see here so this is your feasible distance or the overall cost to reach that particular network like in this topology so this is a topology here so if you check the topology here from the router one to reach this particular 10.4.4. subnet what is the feasible distance the overall feasible distance is 256 plus 256 plus 2816 so the overall it will be 3328 
So that's your feasible distance. And there are two possible routes installed here. You can see via 3 and via 4, which means either it can go via 3 or via 4. These are the two routes which are installed. Of course, there are three, but the third one is not satisfying the condition, so it's not going to install that. We'll talk about that condition next. And out of this, these two, you will see this is your metric. Out of this metric, 3328, 35376, which is the better one? So 3328, this is your 3328, and this is 5376, whatever the overall cost. So you will see this path metric values here, and this is your successor. So this, this path is your successor. And this second route is your feasible successor. Now feasible successor means your second best route. Now to reach this particular subnet, this is your best route and this is your second best route, which we call it as a feasible successor. And of course, it will only use that. It will satisfy the condition. We'll, we'll see the condition next again. And these are your path metric values and whatever the second value you see here. So the first value is your metric and the second value will be your reporting distance. So when you see two values here, the first one is your feasible distance or the overall path metric. The path metric we can say the cost and the second one is your reporting distance so you, you'll find this information normally inside your topology table now again the topology table as i said it is going to include all the best routes which are learned from each neighbor and we can verify that by using show ip ehrp topology